since already in the stream we've been talking about men's rights and men's issues some there's something relating to VTubers and men that I think doesn't get talked about enough. Why do we fuck? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Why do we see less male V uh lewd tubers that are prominent? And frankly, I think a lot of it has to do with uh stigma of People assuming that men are demanding sex. There is the, uh, there's the group of people that, that do act like that with their lewd tuber personas. But I don't know if that's the only real problem. I've been successfully buying my own groceries and chores and all that other stuff. Nice. It is fuck, tricky to get used to doing that stuff. As for male lewd tubers, we just don't see them very much. I do think that there's... There is a market for people who want to see lewd dudes. But it's not as broad of a market for people who want to see lewd feminine people, lewd women. As well, I mean, women, women pretty. You're doing great, cutie. Aw, oh, thank you. Male lewd tubers. Present lunch. I like lewd tubers. I like male lewd tubers. But I don't see enough of them. There have been problems. Or I have seen not necessarily problems. More of problematic phrasing, I would say. In a sense. Where it's like they're acting. In a sense that they're entitled, but... It's like, who wants to jump on this dick? And then they're not getting any responses. And it's like, maybe not enough big, not enough market for lewd man. Not terribly, honestly. But I think it also has to do with, um, what was I saying? People already assuming that men feel entitled to sex. So then when there's uh, most of the engagement from these male lewd tubers, it's just who wants to ride my dick instead of, you know, phrasing it in a funny, coy way. It's, it's just blunt about it. You're an entertainer. Say who wants to gobble my knob in an entertaining way. That, that's it. I think part of the problem is the VTuber audience is mostly horny straight men. Yeah, I would think there's a big part of that too. I would think the majority of male lewd tuber audiences would be gay men. Whether or not they're, um... Whether or not they're actually, the male lewd tuber themselves is actually straight or gay, regardless. I would think the majority of people that do want to see lewd men are gay men. Male lewd tubers probably eat ramen and stream from the studio. <laughs> Tagaholic? Isn't that, um, Taga into Heaven? I don't have anything directly problematic or, um, to call Taga under Heaven out over. It's, he made some shitty jokes. But, like, if he hasn't repeated that, why would I chase after him? I don't know Line Chew. Can you... Uh, let me know? I know Tyga is one of the bigger male lewd tubers. Oh, the femboy guy, I just remember being him just being constant controversy. Yeah, from what I've heard, um, at least what I've currently gathered a lot of it is um people being super duper anti lolly jumping on that one which i don't want to jump on the bandwagon of calling lolly cons the pedos because i want them to actually listen to my arguments and engage with me but like that's the big one against taiga 
There was also one where uh, suspected lewds of a minor were shared in his Discord, and then he was like, um, send them to me before you delete them. And it's like, he did say that that was a tasteless joke that he would never make again, and okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I don't have any reason to say that that's um, a pattern of behavior. Especially if it's only one time it happened. It's like why I don't get mad at Porcelain Maid for his people-pleasing behaviors. Oh, I never heard of those things. Yeah. But I mean, like, ever since then, Taiga has shut off his community to minors from what I've heard. And, like, literally the same um, criticisms I have against Taiga uh, would be the same ones... I would have against porcelain maids aside from i'm not a big fan of the style of character he goes with but like that's hardly reason to cancel somebody would you even call porcelain maid a lewd tuber got plenty of a uh, lewd art makes plenty of jokes I guess it, I guess for me, LewdTuber is really more of uh, what you want to call yourself as a streamer. And holy shit, there's a lot of stigma that's anti-LewdTuber in general. People just being so pissy about, like, um, make some real content, that kind of thing. Bitch, my pictures are real content. Would? Not really. I don't think Joel focuses on loot stuff. No, I don't think so either. He just kind of makes jokes. But he does have, like, a uh, loot art that he shares. Which, I mean, he doesn't produce it himself, but he shares it a fair bit. Shy Lily is 100% a loot tuber, though. But we're not talking about women. Talking about men. Because honestly, I want more male loot tubers. It's just a shame that there's not enough. <sighs> honestly, I think the big part for how can we see more loot male loot tubers become prominent. Aside from, you know, going the femboy route, which everybody loves a femboy. If you say you don't love a femboy, you're a liar. Um, they gotta be okay with gay people enjoying their content. Uh, I would definitely say they should be less direct about... Yeah, my only critique of lewd tubers is just don't make I am horny your only trait. Same critique I have titty streamers. That's it. Totally valid. I agree with that. I consider myself a lewd tuber, but obviously it's not my only trait. I am also trans. It's like half my personality. Oh, I was going on such a banger run. Yeah. You don't want your entire brand to just be one trait. It gets... Depending on the trait, it can, you know, get a lot of clicks and get a lot of interest. But then it might have people only interested in that trait and you're not able to branch out away from that. Like, I haven't kept up with Amaranth since uh, we heard the controversy about her boyfriend? I don't remember. Ever since she got free. But, like... She has a lot more time to... Oh, I forget what I was going to say. The nuggies distracted me.
I remember... I remember hearing... from Amaranth. She actually had a bit of, um, tears of joy when she realized that she didn't have to wake up and be a titty streamer. Day in, day out. And honestly... Oh yeah, there's... There... I forgot what I was going to say. Organize a library and project Zomboid in a Playboy Mansion. True. Yeah, if you basically just have one trait as your entire online entertainment personality, um, you might. Be able to attract a decent audience or quick growth off of that but you might not be able to branch into other areas of content creation if you develop a fast sudden audience for one thing specific if you try to branch into something different you're going to lose people's attention it's an unfortunate reality of content creation I have found with YouTube videos, as I make more and more videos that are sort of relating to the same kind of broader topic that I'm talking about, the algorithm will push those out a bit better. But then when I switch speeds or sw change gears into a different topic, my views are slower to climb back up. So, like, I kind of see that as, like, a broader problem for... Well, just content creators in general, it's not specifically just male lewd tubers that have that problem. 